Everyone knows La Cucaracha, even if you don't speak Spanish, even if you're not Latino. You still know La Cucaracha. It's as much part of American pop culture as cheeseburgers and superheroes. But what you didn't know about this 100-year-old song is, it was never about a cockroach. It was about a revolution. This is the origin of La Cucaracha. Many people today know La Cucaracha as a song about a cockroach who loses its legs and can't walk. But that wasn't how the song started, as far as we can tell. The song was about camp followers, women who followed their husbands into war. They were Las Cucarachas, greedy and tough, and yet still looked down on. It was love for these cucarachas that a corrido, a Mexican folk song, was created to honor them during the Mexican Revolution of 1910. This song became inspiration for revolutionaries at the time, revolutionaries like Pancho Villa, who took the song and gave it a comedic twist, a trend that would continue for the century to come. From there, the song spread across Mexico and into the United States and became a part of the American pop culture lexicon. As far as 1937, we see characters of the Looney Tunes cartoon singing it, and from there, it drew the attention of such legends as Louis Armstrong. Charo. Liberace. And nowadays, La Cucaracha isn't just music, it's part of everyday culture. Like with the award-winning comic strip La Cucaracha by Lalo Alcaraz, La Cucaracha was never just a song. It was a statement of Latinos, their fighting spirit and resiliency, giving an origin to La Cucaracha that is beautifully rich, wonderfully diverse, and best of all, Latino. <laughs>